I know, sir. Thank you. All right, you too, man. That's quick. I like that. Stick your card in and drive off. We got her to get to some tropical shit so I can walk around in shorts all year round. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. I won't have to own a pair of pants. Except for work. <laughs> Yeah. Good morning, y'all. Just stopped by Starbucks to get us a caramel frappuccino. Woo. Morning. Ugh. I had that gum in my mouth. Now it's not good. It don't taste sweet no more. We're just running some errands. to Walmart, look around, then we're going to Best Buy, and then um, I gotta go pick up my check from my boss. So I figured I'd whip the camera out and bring you guys with me. So that, I think it went, that was it. Right. I wonder if we could detach the... Oh, you talking about this one? No, I'm just saying, I'm thinking of different options okay. that would fit in there, but be low enough for you to still use a regular chair. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah perfect. Because then I could use that, right. that chair we got at the house. Yeah. Yep. Look how big it is, though. Oh, no, it's just two pieces. Okay. How much is it? Though? I don't know. You see it? 49. Ain't no way in the hell. Make sure it's for this one, babe, and not for something else. Yeah, because that, that looks like some Ikea shit. I could get for like $59. How much is this one? Let me look at the EPCs real quick. Because you can take the... That is not bad. That's what I'm saying. These probably in the wrong spot. Oh, you got spot. an app? Um, no. I got one. I got one. Hey, Princess Dinkles. Y'all, we got our sidekick here with us. Hi, sweetie girl. Hi, Nana. <laughs> I get out of my face. <laughs> It's 59? This one is. Okay. But I don't like this one. See, you need a, you need a high chair to get. And then it looks. It looks low though. It's fucking shitty. Let me scan this other one. Okay. I didn't know you could do that on the app. Yeah, just, it, it gave you a thing. It's really 149. Dang. Uh, what you think about Target? We can go check them out. You wanna go at least look? Don't hurt the look, I guess. Yeah. Um. Oh, that's part of that over there. Oh, okay. All right, y'all. What toys that? I don't know. Look. That's one hundred and thirty-two dollars. Look at the damn desk. That's cute though. It's purple. I like it. Why are you cussing? Cause you. It's one hundred and thirty-two. Well, if you're gonna pay one hundred and thirty-two, you can pay one hundred and fifty-nine back there for the other one. I don't want that ugly one. This one's cosmetically cute. Think. Okay. I like that. Where is that at Target? It's the Best Buy. Best Buy. It's not a stock. Huh. Look, here, look, my mask. Oh. Look what they got on it. I don't like the pink one. No, but look at the computer that's on it. Yeah, I see it. I see it. You like you're irritated, babe. I, no, you seem like you're irritated. No, because I'm like trying to show you stuff. And I like, see, I see it. I'm just, look, I'm just looking like, at it. I'm fine. I wish fine. I could record your face when you. 
I'm fine. I thought you were aggravated, honestly. No, I'm just trying to find stuff that's in stock. Baby, I'll get whatever you want to get. It don't even matter. I'm just grateful. I'm not trying to get cheap shit, though. I'm not trying to get you cheap shit. Let's stay. Do you like it? Huh? Okay, so we'll try something else. Let's see. I need to get her some baby wash. Some baby wash. I want something that smell good. Um, let's see, this one is Skin Nourish, Shea and Coconut Butter. I think I'll get this soon. Alright. Oh, I didn't even see this back here. What are these like little play mats? What you think about this, babe? It's a play mat. It's a mat? Uh-huh. It's got more for her to do. So put that one back and get her this one. All right, put, put that one back, too. Yeah, I like the monkey one. It's got more for her to do on it. It's been very bad. So we, we just left out of Walmart and there was a guy, we got in line. He had on mask or whatever. And he had a mask and no gloves. Mask and no gloves. And he basically, I caught the back end of it only because I had music playing in my ears, but Babe was talking to him. So I'm not sure what the first part of the conversation was, but to my knowledge, I guess he, he said something about us not having on gloves and masks or whatever the case may be. And, you know, he went into, you know, well, black people are more prone to get it. You know, it's attacking our community a lot more than it is any other race. Okay, that's understandable. Look, like I said yesterday, I'm not trying to be insensitive. I'm not trying to act like I don't care, but what you do is what you do. What I do is what I do. I choose not to wear a mask and gloves because I believe that this is bullshit. I might lose some subscribers. I might even have some people make negative comments or whatever at the bottom and that's fine, that's cool. But that's just what I believe. I believe that this is way bigger than what's being presented to us. And as sheep, we go and flock <laughs> to the first thing that the media throws at us. Has anybody done their homework about this stuff? And I mean, like I was telling Babe, they looking at this as a pandemic. What about AIDS? What about the flu? What about pneumonia? You understand what I'm saying? Like those are viruses and diseases too. So why wasn't those taken into precaution like we're doing for this coronavirus? That's just my view on it. You don't have to believe it, but I believe that this is a load of shit. I'm sorry. Nobody's gonna change my mind about it. You know, he went in on to, oh, I, I know three friends that got it. Well, did they get tested? Or are they just telling you, oh, I feel sick? Like, you wanna wear the mask and gloves, wear the mask and gloves, okay? I'm not, I choose not to do it. I'm sorry. You can call me stupid. You can call me whatever you want to call me. I don't care. That's not going to change my mind. That's not going to make me feel any kind of way. Um, it's just, it is what it is. Care to give your opinion on this whole thing? Um, so this coronavirus, man, 
it could be, it could be not. But what I'm gonna tell is my experience. I'm up in Ohio. I've been driving up and down the East Coast. I've been here for two weeks. I was in Denver, Colorado when it first popped off. I've come in contact with, I don't know how many people, shook hands, high-fived, rubbed elbows, sold mattresses to people. And honestly, I had a cold when I went to Denver. That's, I mean, I felt like, you know, it was just a basic cold. I wasn't about to die. Your mask, your gloves, I mean, honestly. What is that going to do? You go, you go, let's just say you go to Walmart to pick up some tissue or some soap. Don't you got to touch that door? Yeah, because. I'm talking about for the people that's not I've wearing seen, the gloves. I've seen that the guy that was talking to us earlier had just had a mask Don't you got to touch the product that he you did, picked he up? He didn't even have, that ain't a red hot line on, it's deep. He, he had a mask on with no gloves, trying to explain to me that I should have on the same thing he has on to protect my family. And then he leaves out of the, the Walmart and takes his mask off. But continues to say, oh, it's airborne, it's this and that. Listen, let me do me, okay? I just don't believe that it's, I don't believe, I'm not saying that it doesn't exist. I just don't believe the hype. I don't believe all the, the media is throwing all kinds of stuff to us to scare us. And I'm just not one of the people to believe the hype. Yeah, and number one, you can't even find any masks. I'm not going to go hunt down some black market person that's going to sell me a box of masks for $107. And 99 cents. I wouldn't have you waste your money like that anyway. I wouldn't dare have you or me waste no $100 on some masks. Yeah, it's like, Hell, $20 on some masks. I wouldn't do it. We all walking around here with masks on and we got healthcare professionals that don't even have materials and masks to wear. I do y'all homework on this 5G towers. From what we heard, those are what's causing everybody to be sick. If anybody knows what I'm talking about, I'm not trying to say I'm some doctor or scientist or whatever you want to call it, that I know what I'm talking about, but do your homework. Up, them, down, them, them the highway. And we didn't even notice it until now. Where? There's those, one right there above the trees. What like, is it? The radiation that those towers give off is so strong, it'll give you symptoms like the flu. Basically, cell okay. radiation poisoning. Um, I don't know if the any of y'all symptoms from that is flu-like symptoms. Yeah, you will have the flu-like symptoms, body weak, aching. And while headaches. we're home in our confined in our houses, they putting these towers up, y'all. That's what's making us sick. That's what's making us sick. Now you want to get on the bottom of my comments and cuss me out and tell me how I'm, I'm inconsiderate of others. Listen, I'm not even gonna read it. Walking around. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not gonna read it. You're walking around <laughs> with a mask on, but it's the radiation that's you penetrating. You call me that and mask. say whatever you want to say. I'm not. I'm not. I don't believe the hype. I don't believe the hype. So that's all I have to say about that. And I'm only bringing it up because I knew it was coming. I knew somebody was gonna come up to us and, well, why you don't have your mask and why you don't have your glove? This is just a regular old. It's an average ass an average person. person. This, and, this wasn't like a cop or a security guard or nothing like that. This was an average person. Why you don't have your? Look, I don't. First of all, mind your business. Yeah, I wanted to ask <laughs> you. Him, why, does he care? why do you care? Why do you mind care? your business. Aren't you supposed to be six feet away? You need to be up there minding your business, not turning around behind you wondering what we yeah. doing and why we ain't got not this turning, and that. Not turning around. Mind your business. Pulling your mask down to talk to me. That's what's wrong with people. <laughs> you turned around business. and pull your mask down to talk yeah. to me. Yeah. Now, if you got something, because you know people that got it, if you got something, then you giving it to me because you feel the need you got to talk to me. Don't talk to me. No offense. Don't That's talk to me. Exactly. We're here. we in our own little confined six-foot bubble shopping for things that we need to shop for like we're not we're not paying no attention giving zero f's about anybody like i said if it was a pandemic why doesn't more people have it and y'all talking about these thousands of deaths and stuff that's about the average of people that die every day 
I don't know. I don't know. I could sound stupid, whatever the case may be. I don't. Show, show me the average number of people that died today. And then tell me that they all died from coronavirus. Would you test them after they die? Are we testing people after they die? It's just it weird. It doesn't make sense. Like, think about it. Oh, we had 700 deaths from coronavirus. How do you How know? How do you know? Unless you used and wasted 700 tests for 700 deaths. Oh, well, well, they tested them before they died. How we know they just didn't die of natural causes, high blood pressure, right? You diabetes, show, the regular oh, stuff. 12 people that lived in this apartment complex passed away, but you only showing one person on the news. I just feel like they, they are hyping this, this mess up for us to be scared, y'all. They're blowing it out of the proportions. And I see more people just with a hat pushing carts than I do with masks with mask on. mask on. And it's almost like... You people with mask on, thank you, because you protecting nobody. You got a mask on, but your hands are free. You can reach into that mask and just as very well scratch your nose. Right. You can reach into that mask and put your hands in your mouth. You can reach into that mask by putting it on and contaminating the inside of the mask every time that you reach in to touch something. So please tell me these little low-grade ass, non- medical grade mask ain't gonna protect you anyway that's already been on the news it's not gonna protect you the little homemade damn mask you making are not protecting you from shit but pollen and if that's the case then everybody should walk around with a mask on for the pollen that's out who's to say that if there is a covid 19 or coronavirus that it ain't attached itself to trees and shit and unless we shutting some businesses down and i mean really shutting every single thing down where it's, it's it's gonna be out here. We're gonna it's gonna be, be prone out here. To catch it. Like and without a vaccine, it's if it's out here, it's never going to go and away. And what is a vaccine, really? It's never gonna go away. It's gonna keep evolving and it's gonna keep getting stronger, different strands, and it's gonna keep passing around people. People will continue to be carriers to pass it to the weak immune people yep. even after all of this is lifted. So Social distancing. It ain't just gonna disappear. That's what I don't understand. Social distancing is not going to ever end. I want y'all to realize that. All of these glasses that they didn't screw into all of these registers that people have up, I promise you they're never going away. It's crazy. It's like a way to just separate everybody. Yeah. So I don't know. Until it is federal law, like I go to prison for not wearing a mask, I choose not to. Y'all better read up on that stuff. That new world order and and the all that stuff, the the five G towers, all that stuff is tied into this some kind of way. And, and put, I've been following it for years. And like, everything literally is put right in our faces, man. And we sheep. We don't. We we just flock to the first thing they throw at us on we TV. We flock to the first thing. The first <laughs> thing they show is people buying up tissue. Oh, Lord. They show me... it so that you can go buy up tissue. <laughs> they showed it. Oh, there's a ton of people just buying up tissue. I got to go to the store and get my tissue. Ha, 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 ha. What right. happens? Everybody goes buy tissue. Right. But that's just I believe. I don't have to believe it. I'm just telling my view about it. Get some stuff on my little desk too. My little computer desk. That's cute. Y'all, we in Target. Aww, that's cute. Um, where would it be? Ooh, what about that one? It's so simple. This one right here. Yeah. How much is it? Dang, y'all. I mean, that's a little cheaper than Walmart. Lord, I wish IKEA was open right now. I like this one, though. I really like this one. Mm -hmm. It's simple. Uh -oh. Okay, I am. 
I just need to run to the baby section to get her some bottles. Lord. Babe walks somewhere with the baby. And I'm over here trying to find her some bigger bottles. She needs some badly. I'm gonna get her some of these. And yeah, I'm just gonna get her some of these. Now I gotta go find them. Then when we get out of here, we gotta go to Best Buy. They got some of the cutest summer clothes in here, y'all. Where is my husband? Oh, there he is. All right. All right, we're about to head to the front and bring this stuff up. We got one stain. Is this it? Oh my God! You got, baby, you gotta get out. How you guys doing today? Carver? Hey. Yep. You have your ID? Perfect. All right, what do you want these items? Uh, okay. Oh, uh, I got my... <laughs> Look at my superhero, y'all. All I had to do was tell him one time, I said, I want my computer. And he made it happen. Thank you oh, so we much. We did. We did. Oh. I got my blog and camera. I'll show all that stuff to y'all when we get to the house. Y'all, we just got home from uh, Best Buy. I am getting ready to unbox the Canon Mark II um, camera that Bray got me. And I'm also going to do a um, unboxing of the Apple computer he just bought. So stay tuned for those vlogs. Um, little mama down here playing with her toys. <laughs> go mama, go, 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 go. Okay, 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 okay. You so cute. <laughs> anyway, um, get ready to straighten up a bit. I got stuff everywhere. And um, get a little more organized. And then I will, like I said, do the unboxing of the computer and the Canon. So until next vlog, you guys, I appreciate each and every one of you. Remember to like and subscribe and I will see you guys later. Peace.